Oh, Lordy, Lordy. I'm over 40. And I damn sure feel like it. <laughs> I went there again, that gone it. Oh my God, I went there again. Went down that damn rabbit hole of mixing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you're a DIYer like me, you got to taste test every single flavor just to get the notes, you know, just to see what it would pair well with. You know what I'm talking about. Just good old down home mixing like a, like a Auburn fan, huh? <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. Hell yeah. How y'all doing this evening? It's your old buddy Hippie Vapes coming back with just a, a simple, simple ass recipe just to tide y'all over, okay? Because if you see behind me, there's the true Hippie Vapes. And he has already mixed up all these flavorings right here. All of them. Mixed them all up himself. He sure did. Every single one of these in this box is VSO flavors. And there's a bunch of them. So I'm going to give them a week to steep. So we're just going to leave that right there. And in this little container right here, these are a bunch of new flavorings that I got from donations. For you thankful people out there who do donate, thank you so daggone much. I ain't lying. It helps out a broke-ass hippie for real. And I can be real and honest with you and tell you what flavors you might want to get, what flavors you might want to stay away from. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Vern? Hell yeah. I keep it real and honest, truthful here. Well, I've got to wait a week, okay, for those VSO flavors, okay? And, you know, there's going to be, there's part one. There's going to be part two and maybe part three because I haven't even gone over the extremes yet. So there's going to be three parts of the VSO flavorings, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. These new flavors like Alaskan berries, honey berry, all, oh yeah, oh my, I got some good ones over here I'm going to talk about as well. But to tide y'all over and get y'all through the week and everything, I got to share just a simple strawberries and cream recipe. I know it's the same old shit. I know, I know. But hey, you know, you just got to do it sometimes. You know what I mean, Vern? Here's my four ounce bottle of a uh, ripe strawberry from TFA. And I ran out of my ripe strawberry. You know what I'm saying? So what I did is I reused the daggone bottle. Hell yeah. Got to save that money somehow or another, right? Hell yeah. Send me some donations. I might give me some bottles. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, hell yeah, man. It's like a... Here's the strawberry vanilla cream version 100. Hell yeah. And look at the date. 714 is when I made this. Okay. Now, mind you, you know, I just had surgery a month ago. So this is 9-8 right now. So this is one of those recipes, the longer it steeps, the richer, more creamier, the more nuances come out. So the longer you just put this, that's why, you know, it's in a 120 mil bottle, a four ounce stack on bottle, because I knew it was going to take a long time for this one to steep. I'm telling you. Let this one steep for a month, tops. And then you will have you one of the best daggone strawberry cream recipes. Oh, it rivals a lot of them. It's simple, it's easy, and you've got the flavorings 
So I'm going to share screen and show you the daggone flavorings. How's that? Look at that pretty ass picture. Would you just freaking look at it? Oh, my word. Oh, look at them little seeds of the strawberries and little pieces of strawberries in that cream and everything. Oh, my word. It looks so damn good, don't it? Hell, yeah. Let's show you the recipe then. Strawberry cream version 100. Here we go. Creamy milky underpants from 101 at one and three quarter percent. Just look at it. Ice cream vanilla. Sabuki at 2%. Sweet strawberry, that new sweet strawberry from Flavor West at 2%. Hell yeah, strawberry ripe. Hell, I'm using the strawberry ripe bottle. Why not use strawberry ripe in the recipe, right? Gives you that authentic strawberry, that bright, refreshing strawberry, 4%. Super sweet, Capella, half percent. Here you go, vanilla bean ice cream, TPA, 3%. Vanilla cream extra, wonder flavors, 1%. Now, a lot of people say that, you know, this is just, they're going to power suggestion. I'm going to highlight this right here. This right here, <clears throat> if you get a pepper taste of vanilla bean ice cream, that's power of suggestion because i all these years still don't get a pepper taste i don't understand it i don't understand how somebody can get a pepper taste out of that vanilla bean ice cream because that's my favorite daggone vanilla bean ice cream for real i don't understand it y'all understand it hell no i don't understand it hell why don't you try it just again just to see if you get that taste, let it sit for a month. Don't rush into it, you know, and vape it right away. Give it a little time to mellow out and, you know, get jiggy with itself. You know what I'm saying? Let it steep. Let it mend and blend and get all them good juices going. You know what I'm talking about. Some good old vape. Mm. Damn. Damn, that is so freaking good. So mouth filling. I'm talking it coats your whole daggone mouth. All you get is strawberry and cream, pretty much. The ice cream. I know there's ice creams in there, but it's like it's a cream. It's a thick, rich cream that just lays on your tongue. And just keeps that strawberry around. Oh my word. Such a good recipe. Y'all don't just 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 mix it up. Just mix it up. You know, if you don't, you know, I will, you know. Hey, give old hippie vapes a chance, you know. I got some killer recipes coming up. I'm going bonkers over freaking peach, man. Peach, peach this, peach that. Oh, my word. I'm going nuts, man. Oh, an advocate for liberty. Oh, you started something with me and Tam Vapes. Oh, my word. I'm driving myself crazy trying to come up with the best peach damn recipe I can think of because I know Tam Vapes, man. She's a kick-ass mixer, man, and... I don't know. Sometimes the student outdoes the teacher, and that's fine with me. All that matters is if you come up with a good recipe and you make it public, share it with everybody, let everybody in on it. You know, everybody has fun, mixing, no drama, you know, just get groovy with it you know what i mean hell yeah i've kept it real hell yeah a little strawberries and cream recipe next week next friday is gonna be a live stream vso part two next friday hell yeah i've kept it real just like jay hayes says i kept it real have you <laughs>
Man, that dude, that dude's a nut. He's crazy. I love watching everyone. He's all right. Though. Yeah, y'all have a good evening, man. Please. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get, I ain't done it right yet. That only got to do it right, correct? Please. Love and harmony, everybody. Later, y'all. Y'all have a groovy weekend.